Hello and welcome to VRML Channel 1. This is High Voltage versus King Gorillas. I'm Spunday Cobra. I'm joined by Nightfire with two E's. And we're here for this awesome matchup tonight. This is going to be the first of our block tonight of, I think, three matches, maybe four matches on Channel 1, Nightfire. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I, I, I know I'm doing three at least. Uh, we've had one earlier today, kind of a little appetizer, if you will. Uh, just happened a few minutes ago, but. Uh, yeah, we are here for a nice block of high tier matchups. This is a master tier matchup that we're going to be kicking this off with. And yeah, Kang and High Voltage, uh, both teams that have been around for a while. Uh, high Voltage has been since been, been in the league since season one uh, competing, but these two teams have never faced off against each other. Uh, so it's the first time that we're seeing High Voltage and Kang duke it out. And I am super excited to get to, to get first of all back into the swing of things for echo arena for myself it's been a little bit since i've managed to cast some echo and uh i mean for this to be the game to kick it off yeah it's gonna be super hypes but i'm really looking forward to this absolutely i feel like we're both getting back into the swing of things it's good to have uh -huh. you back it's good to be back <laughs> and it's good to see it's good <laughs> it's good to see high voltage be playing against king gorillas we talk about teams that have playing have been playing for a while that have risen up through the ranks Mm -hmm. And this is their first time playing King Gorillas. So, you know, they've got to a position. They got to master. They've been playing really hard for a long time. King Gorillas has been master for as long as we can remember. And just really awesome stuff from yeah. High Voltage. And let's see what they can do. Yeah, High Voltage, I don't think... Uh, I'm just kind of scrolling through past uh, ranks. I don't think they've... At least season three, they didn't manage to get up into the master tier. Season two, uh, it doesn't look like it either. And so, yeah, this is a, I mean, obviously a, a, a season here for high voltage to really perform well, but 
an opportunity to kind of maybe throw out a little bit of an upset. I would say High Voltage coming into this is going to be the uh, the underdog, if you will, if we have the votes out there and the people throwing out the uh, the wagers. I'm sure there's a heavy uh, amount going into Kang. <laughs> but we'll find out as we hop into this joust for round once. But we are not waiting around any longer. We're diving into the action. Absolutely. And with that, we'll be sent down outside the bubble of High Voltage. Kang Gorillas will have it. They'll have this 2v1 opportunity, oh. and they're going to put that one in. Loveridge from behind the goal, and above the goalie it's himself, able to find those two points. Really nice uh, give and go there. Exactly what you expect out of Kang's uh, teamwork, truly. I mean, uh, getting right behind the goal. You saw him try to react, couldn't snag it in time, and off to the races we go with Kang and a nice early two. We'll see how High Voltage come out on their offensive joust and you can see there no hesitation and clearing out downrange right away they're almost expecting a blitz to come in from kang more pressure to be applied off of that too but it doesn't come in as fast as they were anticipating and now we have a bit of a brawl for the disc in the mid space as kang do manage to come out on top of that the joust does come the stacks there in time it disrupts the play this goal he's still in oh and a great shot to the upper half speedy finds another two kang gorillas Making quick work of this defense, just full court pressure. They're pushing right up to the bubble. They're moving with a lot of speed. And high voltage just kind of reeling back. They're trying to get back on defense. They're trying to get set up. But King Gorilla is just not allowing that to happen. Try and get the uh, wagers out there for the folks that want it. I know people want to be throwing out their bets for this, uh, for this high octane matchup. And... Well, Kang, like we like we suspected, are certainly coming out strong. A nice early 4-0 lead, and they've continued to apply the pressure inside the zone of high voltage. And now going for a three. The open goal three does get missed. A little bit too lackadaisical on that. And we'll see if uh, high voltage can punish here. Absolutely. Kind of a cheeky shot attempt. A little slow and maybe not focused on that shot. So this will be a chance for high voltage as they send it back to the backline player, isolate, isolate under pressure. We'll be able to juke out that player, but that stack from Kangorillas will jump a little too early and in the wrong place and not able to recover in time on that back recovery from that back stack. It's going to be Goran Jr. making that nice shot to the bottom pocket. Really nice job there, putting in that to a nice bit of a bounce back here for high voltage. And now we'll see. I expect some intense pressure to be applied here. They want to try and follow up this momentum a little bit and even the odds a bit here. And you can see a bit of a slow roll out there, anticipating that pressure to be applied and uh, just letting uh, this entire high voltage squad push into the Kang zone. And now they've worked up to the midfield. And here comes the Kang stack to apply their offensive push. So Loveridge inverted at the ceiling, setting that one forward. Nicely led pass. Zenith descending and sending that pass to Mad for the slam dunk on that alley-oop. So nice. I mean, it's all nice. We see that that full court pressure. We see that pass from Loveridge at the ceiling to Zenith leading him. And then Zenith will find a nice spot to send that down to Mad for just an alley-oop. Just flawless play from K-Gorillas. Another offensive rollout here for the likes of High Voltage. They do manage to get inside the zone of Kang, and it floats up to the top, but the defense, the full force of that Kang defense is there. Easy pick up, and now they push back out of the zone. Bit of disruption there, some brawling in the midfield, but again, that Kang stack is strong and fast. An open goal three opportunity does get missed, almost bounces in off the backboard, quickly scooped up by Isolate, though. This is it back out, tries to get it into the tunnel, and a quick intercept from Kang. Speedy fires it over to Loveridge, and another two into the hole for Kang. A nice 8-2 lead in round one. So six minutes left on the clock, more than enough time for High Voltage to find a rhythm, but with the way that Kang's been playing, Kang has been able to get this defense out of position, get past them, move with a lot of speed, and this defense just can't recover. They can't seem to get in position and get set up on defense so that's gonna be a missed attempt that's an error that will go into the hands of kangorilla speed ev sending that now to leverage leverage below the goal to mad mad with the drive and that nice stun on the goalie will make it a hundred percent success so two more hmm. points for kangorillas they'll capitalize off that mistake on joust from high voltage this is kind of what kang does best once they start to get the momentum they really apply that pressure on and uh, in a high-tier matchup like this, they are not going to let up. So a solid 10-2 lead here. They're going to continue to try and put up a couple more on the board, I would presume. And so it's up to High Volsters to really stop the bleeding now. There's still five minutes left in the game. An eight-point lead isn't too much. A couple of goals away for them to be able to bounce back. And 
It's just a matter of getting their hands on the disc. Spent a lot of dispossession time coming in from K. They've really been uh, just commanding their presence there. And I'm sure if we get the stats at the end of the round, ooh, almost an open goal three there. A nice dive out snags it. We'll see that Kang have a lot of disc time, you know. Because he needs to shut down that angle on that long shot attempt. Mm -hmm. And nice stun coming through from Kang. So Loveridge now with possession. Going to go down to the floor. Try and pull out that defender. Maybe lose the disc. Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe out of his headset. But an error nonetheless for Kang Gorillas. They will try to recover on that missed clear attempt from High Voltage. High Voltage will try again. That one won't oh. be through. So now in the hands of Kang. Kang on offense once again. Mad to send that to Zenith. Zenith has two pass opportunities in the bubble. He's going to send that one behind the goal. And Speedy's going to get Ooh, shut down. Nice. An excellent stop coming through from Lawls. Really great save there. Scoops it up. Almost full clears it down the center. Can't quite get it out. And this has been a kind of a uh, recurring theme here. High Voltage just can't get it out of their zone. An open goal three from Fire Ninja does come in, though. And that is going to be a nice little boost. Five-point lead, not too bad now. And four minutes left, plenty of time to work with. Excellent shot from Fire Ninja. And Kang just not able to recover. They did get to the goal in time, just not able to get that hand up to make this save. So now to QB will be Speedy. Speedy's just going to hold back for a second, pull out that stack, that forward player actually on defense. So high voltage out of position once again. Kang with this forward positional advantage approaching the bubble or two players from Kang. There are two pass opportunities now that are valid in the bubble, going behind the goal and getting the just flawless dunk. Mm -hmm mad for another two points but you see once again high voltage will send that player that forward player to challenge speedy not able to recover to get back in time on defense and kangorillas will have that positional advantage moving forward and they'll capitalize on it yeah i mean they're trying to do something about this kang offense you know they're trying to isolate the strengths that they see but it has its risk when you do overextend like that spud and We'll see if they can bounce back a bit here. The disc floats around in the zone of Kang for a bit too long. And an awkward shot on goal there floats into the hands of Mad. Pretty easy save for him as he clears it back down through the midfield and high voltage back on the defense. Kang continue to pile up points on the board, or at least try to as a great save comes through. A bit of a botch clear, though. Keeps it into the possession of Kang. Lover is going to continue to apply the pressure in a second save from Isolate. Can't clear it out, though, and again, Kang, keep possession. Isolate's really become such a fantastic goalie of these past few years. Played with him in Pizza League, and there's a cut coming through, but not able to make the stop. Not able to get three in a row. Isolate's not going to be able to stop that one. Loveridge going to come through with a pretty pretty nice dunk. But we see some really nice dunks. They recognize that Isolate is a pretty competent goalie. He's made some terrific saves so far, so they're going to opt to go for these dunks for a higher success rate. Yeah, makes sense that they're trying to get inside uh, of that defense because they are not having success on those shots for threes or for even long-range twos. And so that is the attack here for Kang. We'll see if that continues to work for them. I mean, they do have a comfortable lead here, and we do get into that two-minute drill. So high voltage certainly starting to feel a bit of pressure, at least in this first round. They managed to do well. They put some points on the board. They've applied pressure right now. They're keeping it inside the zone of Kang for a little bit. And uh, I, if they can come in with some momentum into round two, it might be a little bit different. If they can start round two off with a little bit more energy, but can't quite look forward to that yet. They got, still got about a minute left to play out. So with possession will be Kang sending that one to the tube speedy, looking for an attempt to send that interception at mid. This is a chance for high bulge, but 90 seconds on the clock. Looking at a nine point deficit right now. They're gonna send that clear through, that stack is through. Nice. Only one pass attempt though for Gorin and that one's covered. So Gorin's gonna send that one up to the ceiling. That's gonna be way too ahead of its target. So that's a loss of possession. Gonna be a slap from Kang, but that's not all the way out. Backline player coming through. Law sending that up to isolate. They need to make something happen. That cut nice. is good. And that's gonna be two points. Too high voltage. Gorin Jr. finishing that one off. Really good pass there. Really good cross to the center. And that's what you really need to get through this kind of defense on the likes of Kang Gorillas. You need to be right up in their face too. These long range shots aren't gonna come through. That they you saw the defense dive out for that open goal three and snag it. They are they're ready for those shots. And so you have to well challenge them like that. And it's a nice job from high voltage to be able to do that. And again they're keeping it close. Seven point lead now and these last 30 seconds for Kang. Obviously they're gonna try and bump that up a touch as they do go on the a push here, getting into the bottom of the zone and another one on one challenge. Zenith this time finds the dug cannot be disrupted they're not taking their chances with isolating the goal mm -hmm. zenith to get that nice flourish on that dunk twist around spin around that crossbar 
So 16 seconds left. This first round will go to Kang, but High Voltage able to get some momentum. Let's see if they can carry this into the second round. We always talk about momentum. We yeah. talk about strategy, and it's really important for them to find something. Ooh. And that's almost going to be in, but <laughs> that will be handily saved by Kang Gorillas. <laughs> that would have been, that really would have been interesting. <laughs> Put in a three right at the end, but doesn't go in. And yeah, I think, you know, the one real takeaway here is that, you know, High Voltage, it was, it, we're on a trajectory to kind of be on a blowout there. I think it was 10-2 uh, at, at one point. Uh, you know, Kang really started to push out and get that comfortable lead, but High Voltage stayed in it and kept it pretty close. I mean, 7-14 to 14, at the end of the day, they managed to get some points on the board, limit the damage done. If they can now that they're warmed up and ready for Kang, come into this round two with the energy, yeah, I think there's a good chance that this round two could be much more competitive uh, Score-wise, at the very least, so that still was a great bit of back and forth. And one thing I think we saw was a ton of stunning coming in uh, from the likes of Kang. I mean, they were really disrupting the back line of high voltage with great stuns. You saw that pass that was very delayed. I mean, they're just they were having a tough time getting through the brawlers of Kang. And we'll see what they can do. I, I, you know, this is the first time playing Kang, so. You know, this is the first time. I don't know how many times they've yeah. scrimmed Kang. Sure. Uh, they're placed probably nine or ten within Master. Yeah. So they may not have scrimmed Kang. They, this might be the first time they're playing them. So they're learning as they go. Seven points to 14 points. Not too bad. Let's see if they can do something in the second round. Maybe pull off a win. Yeah, got to come out with the right energy, and we'll see if they can bring it here. Off to the nice joust, pushing it into the zone of Kang. But look at this, the defense of Kang just waiting for it. A great anticipation from that defensive setup. Almost get the open goal three, but a very nice counter from high voltage. Keeps this competitive, prevents that goal from going in uncontested. And a bit of a slap around here as the disc floats in the zone of high voltage, and Kang regain control and set up for their attack. So with possession is Mad. Mad taking his time. This defense isn't biting out of bubble, but they're allowing him to get that pass behind oh. goal, and that's another easy two points. So they're playing conservatively. They're staying within that bubble, but they're leaving Speedy open to find that nice pass behind goal. High percentage opportunity. Capitalizing on it. It's two points on the board for Gang Gorillas. Yeah, and it was a really nice play. You saw that in the replay, the dive out uh, from that Geo, just sinking right into the back line, almost stealthily floated in there and he threw his hands up a great pass for that too and that's what they again what they need to do to get through that line of isolate and almost a good setup there the cross almost came through but the disruption from the defense the brawling preventing that pass from going to its intended target and almost it's just kang anticipating where the disc is going to go before it goes there and our really preventing again high voltage from being able to set up on offense a great open goal three from mad piles onto the lead now and it's 5-0 excellent play from kangorillas once again they recover on defense they make the defensive stop find possession from high voltage get down court they keep high voltage in the back court they have a nice long open three opportunity they sink it so five points on the board nearly two minutes off the clock high voltage hmm. they need to find a rhythm or they're going to lose this in two yeah, they definitely do. They, they're capable of doing it. We've seen them keep this close and competitive through the later halves of round one. But again, it, 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 the problem is, is when these big leads come through from Kang, when they start to come up 7, 8, 9, 10, 0, no matter what you do then, it's just so hard to get the momentum back. Even if you do manage to get a, a couple of goals in, Kang can then say, all right, time to, re time to refocus, and they can put a few more points on the board. It gives them so much freedom to run around in the round, and uh, right now is the most uh, a very important round. You can see Highvolts is taking their time, looking for the right setup, and a good bit of clear down through the midfield. Does get them up for an attack. The shot almost to the backboard there. You can see the attempt, but it doesn't go uh, where they wanted it to, and well, at least Highvolts is able to keep their hands on the disc and continue this attack. Another pass to the outside of the zone. The cross here through the center, but no real attack. There's the float up, and the two comes in off of the head of Speedy. Nicely done from High Voltage. They slowed it down. They put the stuns on the goalie. I guess they decided to crash the net. They tried yeah. a new strategy, and it worked for them there. But, you know, talking about Kangorillas, I don't know how, if it's been spoken about this season much, but 
you know, with the departure of the two recent and long-standing Kangaroos players, Strombitsky, who would go to the New York Kings, and Sealable Bag, who would retire, a lot of people didn't have faith in Kangaroos, and that's gonna be a nice long, sh actually, pass attempt. They're gonna send that right back, recognizing they didn't have that opportunity, but. You know, people did not have a lot of faith in Ken Gorillas. Loveridge would come back from retirement, and they would take on Speedy V as their fourth player. And this new Ken Gorillas team has really gelled quickly, and they've done some really great things this season. And right there, Mad from behind the goal. Another dunk coming from behind. Just excellent plays from Ken Gorillas. But it really needs to be said that this Ken Gorillas team is here to compete, and they've really, they've really got what it takes. Yeah, I mean, they are really testing high voltage here, and to your points, but high voltage is trying all kinds of different strats. They're, th they're doing a slow rollout here. You got the completely different spread uh, down to the tunnels, waiting for the attack to come through. Uh, it, they're, they're, they're trying different styles to get these points on the board because uh, nothing's really working. There's a good dive from Isolate, though. A great stun and an open goal three. And that cuts down the lead significantly. It's now only four points, five, nine, lots of time left. Isolate is going to be occluded from that block. I don't even think the communication was there. The player definitely didn't see him, so he'll find that skill. He'll find that long 18 meter a second shot. That's what they need right now. Maybe they're deciding to play uh -oh. more aggressive. Uh -oh. And this is another chance. Not oh. able to hit it, though. Fire Ninja looking to recover it at the floor, though. Would be high voltage, but Kangaroo is going to come away with it. What a opportunity there, gifted to high voltage, a botched rollout. And just like that, they recover from it and fly down into the zone of high voltage to score a quick two. Uh, and a, a mistake followed up by a mistake that is instantly punished. Uh, <laughs> Kangaroo is not going to give up two opportunities. And so, wow, that could have been a lead for high voltage right now going into this round, going into the second half of round two. But instead, Kang have... A bit more comfortability, a bit more comfort in their lead as they do manage to snag, a attempt to clear up through the center, continue to attack into the zone. A shot on an open goal for two goes wide. Dings off the side. High Voltage gifted another opportunity to stay in this one. Credit to High Voltage. They're really playing aggressively. They recognize mm -hmm. that they're not going to win this playing conservatively. They're putting all the pressure on that offense. Ooh. That's another shot. Recognizing that open goal, but not able to sink it. Looking to recover it would be that High Voltage player. The clear will come through for Kang, and these stacks are through at the wall. It will be picked up by Loveridge, so Loveridge now looks at that cut, sending it. That one's going to be ahead of its target, so High Voltage looking to recover this. They need to find possession, but Kang is going to send an air and pass. I mean, I feel like maybe the pressure is on, so yeah. High Voltage really kicking it up a notch. Yeah, it seems to be, and it's, you can see that they're forcing errors out of Kang here in this later half of these rounds. Not like they were in the, on, on the offense in round one. Great bit of pressure applied, and it forces the disc to float around in the midfield at least. A, a bit of an over-aggression there, I think, coming in as they fly past the disc. And two missed open goal shots there coming in from Kang. Could have piled on another pass there goes wide. High voltage just hanging on by a thread here in this round two, but Kang still able to keep possession. I don't know how many missed attempts that's been for both teams on these shots. Just dinging the crossbar. There's another attempt that will be stopped, though, by this defense. High Voltage needs to capitalize on it. They will find possession. They need to get that through mid. They need to get down court. That's not going to be all the way through. Kang will overshoot it at mid. It will be picked up by Fire Ninja. Now Fire Ninja setting that forward. Goran Jr. with a one-on-one -on -one attempt. And he's going to sink at two points. So, really, this incredibly aggressive def defense and offense yeah. from High Voltage is paying off. And... I mean, let's see if it can continue to pay off, but usually we don't see such a high success rate, but they cranked up the heat, and Kang Gorillas just hasn't been able to adjust. Well, I, I mean, again, High Voltage is just trying all kinds of different things. <laughs> you know, they're throwing all sorts of different tactics at this Kang squad, and now it's Kang's turn to react to what is a effective, uh, seemingly deterrent from High Voltage. They've managed to find success in chaos, enforcing panic, enforcing these rush plays out of Kang. They're able to find the disc, clear it downrange, and now another attempt at an attack coming in from High Voltage. They are looking at, I think, uh, two goals here, and they have a lead with two minutes left. A great cross Ooh. to isolate, a fantastic give and go, and now they are within range. What is this High Voltage? Where did they come from? And let's see if they can continue to maintain this type of momentum and keep, I mean, it seems like they have Kangorillas on their back foot right now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Kangorillas has to readjust. They're used to playing slow and methodical. 
but right now they're just not able to keep up. It's just been a complete shift in momentum. And again, a rollout here from Kang. Interrupted by high voltage. An open goal three goes just a touch wide, and Kang able to fly down into the top of their zone and prevent that one from becoming a disaster. They do clear it down all the way now, and that would have been bad news for Kang. An open goal three here dings just a bit wide. Another chance for Kang to solidify their lead. That goes just a bit awry, and they're going to continue to uh, apply the pressure on their attack. Is that like the sixth ding this round? Crazy. It's just insane. All these long threes that have just been a sliver from being going into the goal. And there's a pass below goal. Loveridge doesn't have the angle. Zine's going to get shut down. Excellent stop by Fire Ninja. 60 seconds on the clock. Still in this game is high voltage. Kang looking for possession. That's going to be bouncing gosh. off Bo. Excuse me, off Ness. But a lot of stuns coming through in the backcourt. Not able to apply that pressure just yet would be high voltage. They need to apply the pressure with these double stacks. They need to get to that disc. We are down into uh, one to two play territory here. And this is exactly what Kang want. They have the lead. They're just burning time inside the zone of high voltage. As I say that, the attack comes in. And that is going to make this a two goal game for the likes of high voltage. And with 22 seconds left. I don't think there's time left mathematically. I'm pretty sure that is GG for round two. That is Kang securing the series as well. What a fantastic couple of rounds here. High Voltage, man, if they can review the footage and take away the positives from this second round, they were looking really great there, applying the pressure onto the likes of Kang. But Kang was Kang, and they managed to snag two rounds under, and uh, that's the series. Excellent play from both teams. Excellent play from High Voltage. They kind of just threw their care to the wind and just said, screw it. We're going to we're gonna challenge every possession from Kangorillas. And a lot of missed attempts, a lot of missed attempts from yep. both teams had High Voltage hit that three that was maybe a minute and 20 seconds before the end of this round. They would have been in the lead, but then again, Kang would follow up with another long three attempt themselves, and that would ding off the top of the crossbar. So just a lot of open goal opportunities that they would recognize maybe 12 meters out from the goal that yep. they take these shots and it would just ding off the crossbar. You know, had this been a slightly different game with slightly different shots, could have been a different ending. Yeah, I mean, we at least gone to a round three. You know, this second round looked a lot better uh, all the way throughout from high voltage. And so... Good attempts, and, uh, well, just the start of a bunch of great games here today. But we have uh, next up, I believe, Bangarang versus Overkill. We'll be joined by Sir Dimwi on that one. And I am, uh, again, just looking forward to a great couple of matchups here today on VRML1. You're not going to want to go anywhere. Stick around for more action. I don't have any more thoughts, but uh, you're going to be heading out. So any final thoughts before we go? Good game. Yeah, absolutely. Fun one to tune into. We got more to come. Don't go anywhere. Echo Arena VRML will return. Season 4 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products VRWare Rebuff Reality VR Cover and Pro2VR.